the mental picture to have is that if you have a landscape, say uh, hills and valleys, and you want to find the lowest point, quantum mechanics you can think of as supplying more paths to travel to get to that lowest point. So as you start adding these quantum resources that we sort of vaguely spoken of, which can be made more formal, the power of the machine grows in that the number of ways that you can get to the bottom increases. And uh, uh, another important point which heard mentioned is that this approach is equivalent in computational power formally to universal quantum computation. So even though this chip is designed to do optimization, there are modifications that can be made to it to run any quantum computing algorithm. They're not trivial modifications, it's going to take a lot of work, but there's a path forward. One of the ways that I like to describe our stuff, it's kind of like the shotgun sequencing approach in, in uh, human genome sequencing. So I, I, as you're probably aware, um, when Solera Genomics was founded, there was a public effort going on that said, okay, we're going to sequence the human genome, genome using this set of tools and these sets of methods. It's going to take 10 years. And then someone came along and said, hey, well, why don't we do this quick and dirty way, pour a bunch of money into it, we'll do it in two years. And uh, there was a, a debate about whether or not the approach was actually valid and all of this. A lot of this is happening now. Uh, there's a lot of parallels between Solera and what we're doing. And it's the quick and dirty and fast way to try to shortcut some of the problems, uh, big, build big systems that we can use and we live from that. So now, the fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs>